So if I put uh, the chemical formula for kaolinite onto the board, it would look like this, Si4, Al4, uh, O10, OH8. And if I can count up the, the, the chemical uh, charge in each of these, uh, these atoms, so we have four silicon, uh, which should give me um, 16 positive, uh, 4 aluminium, which gives me 12 positive, 10 oxygen, which is 20 negative, and 8 hydroxyl, which is 8 negative. If I count those up, you'll see that actually the net charge is zero. So this, uh, this um, arrangement of atoms makes uh, chemical sense with respect to charge balance. But actually, when you look at the mineral overall, because uh, the mineral has edges, that gives the, uh, the clay mineral a slight negative charge. And it's that slight negative charge which makes the clays have an interesting property um, uh, chemically when they're in the environment. So, and that chemical property is called cation exchange. So cation exchange happens when I have a clay particle, and let's say um, I've immersed that clay particle in solution, so um, it could be in, in, in a river or within the, the particle, um, the void spaces within a soil. Let's say I've got a clay particle here, um, and because of the, um, the edges of the, the particle, it has a slight negative charge um, on the surface. Now that slight negative charge can do two things. It can attract water molecules to the, to the surface through, um, through a double layer. So we know that water as a molecule looks um, like this. It's got two hydrogen atoms on one side and an oxygen on the other. Um, and that means it's dipolar. So the, it has a, a slight negative charge on one side and a positive charge on the other. And that positive charge from the hydrogen atoms is attracted to the, the surface of the clay particle. So you can get um, water molecules being attracted to the, the surface of the pot clay particle. Um, you can also get uh, cations attracted to the, the, the surface of the particle. So, um, things like calcium 2 plus atoms within solution, magnesium 2 plus, um, and then lead 2 plus. And they, those can be attracted and uh, sorb onto the surface of the, the clay particle um, onto the exchange sites. So the sites. Um, um, with the, the highest negative uh, charge. We also know that uh, different cations um, absorb differently onto the, the surface of the, um, of the, of the clays, and it, it gives rise to something called the lithotrophic series. Well, we know that um, your ammonia uh, um, ions absorb better than um, potassium, it's better than sodium, it's better than uh, lithium, which is better than um, magnesium and calcium. If you have uh, um, cations lower in this, this scale, it already absorbs to your, your clay particle, you might find that it swaps with some of the, the um, uh, the cations or the ions it, higher in the scale. So that's another th interesting feature within uh, cation exchange within clay minerals.